हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी सो इन द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी फर्स्ट दिस इंक्लूड साइटोटॉक्सिसिटी इवेंट प्रोडक्शन और द कीमोथेरेपी एजेंट्स वर्क बाय साइटोटॉक्सिसिटी इवेंट प्रोडक्शन अपॉपटॉसिस इंडक्शन और बाय एक्टिंग ऑन डर ड्रग टारगेट्स द टू मेनली द दे एक्ट ऑन डी एन ए देन नाउ इफ यू सी द ड्रग्स इन द ड्रग्स द टारगेट ऑफ दीज ड्रग्स आर वी हैव मेनली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ टारगेट्स वन वी हैव सेल साइकिल इनहिबिटर्स स्मॉल मॉलिकुलर इनहिबिटर्स और वी हैव हारमोनल इनहिबिटर्स नाउ द इंडिकेशन ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी वी विल हैव टू लर्न अबाउट द इंडिकेशन ऑफ कीमोथेरेपी then in the indications of chemotherapy first and foremost we have disseminated cancer and adjuvant chemotherapy is seen adjuvant chemotherapy is seen where uh, mainly we use surgery we gives we, we we treat the tumor with surgery first and followed by chemotherapy then we have neo adjuvant chemotherapy where we give chemotherapy first followed by surgery and then we give chemotherapy again then we have even maintenance therapy is present maintenance phase so first we will learn about the cell cycle inhibitors cell cycle inhibitors these cell cycle will inhibitors will target rapidly dividing cells they target rapidly dividing cells like s and m phase in the phase g not they are less sensitive so these cell cycle inhibitors they along with the cancer cells they act al along with the cancer cells actually if you see it with these cell surface inhibitors along with the cancer cells even the normal cells are affected that too mainly the rapidly dividing cells are affected so for example hair follicle whenever hair follicle is affected it causes hair loss when hair follicle is affected you will see that there is hair loss if there is bone marrow or gi mucosa or oral mucosa is affected so if hair follicle is affected it causes hair loss if bone marrow is affected it causes bone marrow suppression if gi mucosa is affected it causes gastrointestinal distress and if oral mucosa is affected then it causes oral thrush or cancer the com these are the common side effects to all the drugs these are the common side effects to all the drugs now if you see the cell cycle inhibitors cell cycle inhibitors are from g1 to s then s to g2 from g2 to m again from m to g1 so these there are two checkpoints here that is from g1 to s checkpoint and from g2 to m checkpoint so there is one checkpoint from g1 to s there is other checkpoint from g2 to m so if you see the cell cycle inhibitor drugs these are of two types one we have cell cycle specific drugs and second we have cell cycle non specific drugs cell cycle specific drugs include s phase inhibitors and also m phase inhibitors s phase inhibitors okay and in the cell cycle non specific drugs it includes alkylating agents anti tumor antibiotics and platinum compounds are cell cycle non specific drugs s phase inhibitors include anti metabolites topo isomerase inhibitors and this also causes histone d acetylase inhibitors anti metabolites topo isomerase inhibitors and histone d acetylase inhibitors or s phase inhibitors then we have m phase inhibitors m phase inhibitors include vinca alkaloids taxanes eribulin and estramustin are the m phase inhibitors then if you see the next group of drugs are alkylating agents which we will learn about the next in next class thank you for watching